Well, everyone knows Arthur Sullivan from his long-standing and fruitful collaboration with Gilbert. Uh, but what a lot of people don't know is that Arthur Sullivan also wrote many works without Gilbert. This piece, The Zoo, was uh, one of those collaborations. And in it we see his uh, brilliance and, and comic timing as supported by different librettos. That's paired with what might seem like a slightly unlikely uh, pairing, which is William Walton's Bear. William Walton was a, a composer in the generation after Vaughan Williams, mostly famous to audiences now for writing a lot of the film soundtracks for Laurence Olivier's adaptations of the Shakespearean plays. But he also wrote a, a gamut of orchestral music and oratorios, and he had two operatic offerings. One was a grand opera, or a big opera, earlier in his career, Trollius and Cressida. And then later on in his life, he wrote this uh, short one act, The Bear, based on a Chekhov play. When Gil told me who was going to be playing the two principals, I said, well, all we really have to do is point them at each other and <laughs> watch what happens. And that is what's happening. So we're working with the very sophisticated comedy of Chekhov and Walton, and they are such organic, beautiful performers that it's a joy to work with them. <laughs> I opened the score and I was like, oh, that's me in there. <laughs> Vocally, histrionically, uh, psychologically, everything. <laughs> which, which may or may not be a compliment to myself. <laughs> I personally think it's a riot. The first time I listened to the opera all the way through, I mean, I, the thing that immediately jumped to mind is, you know those old Warner Brothers cartoons um, where the soundtracks were written by, um, or uh, put together by Carl W. Stalling? Um, you know, those wonderful sort of pastiches of every kind of gesture in classical music. This is exactly what the score for this opera is like. I think it's just delightful. They're pastiches from various composers that he's pulled into his own language. And um, you have some Strauss, you have some Ravel, you have some Stravinsky, you have Walton. Uh, and it's, it's brilliantly done, I think, and tells a wonderful story. And I think the audience will love it. are all younger and it is my impression from Linda and from Gil that they are loyal chorus members who have been part of Gil's uh, other productions. They're having so much fun. We don't always think of the opera as a place to go to just have belly laughs and I think this is just such, it's such easy, fun comedy that, I, that people, people are going to love. That's the way 